And this is, I think, what you have done. And maybe that's why you have been able to be so successful with your interviews. It's because you sit and think to yourself, if I'm the interviewer, what should I ask next? Right. And how could I keep developing this? Right. Yeah, no, exactly. Yo, what's up, everyone? I am so glad to be back with all of you again. We had a slight hiccup with the upload schedule due to competing priorities. As promised though, we are bringing you a three-part series of an interview debrief from a fellow ninja who just got his offer letter from Intel. What a great place to kickstart your career. This three-part series will be focusing on three aspects. Pre-interview, meaning how the candidate prepared for his interviews, tips and tricks during interviews, and finally, a very juicy topic, salary negotiations. This last one is very important for most of you. The current climate for top talent is bright, with companies paying top dollar to get a resource that is in short supply, you. Without any more delay, let's get into this three-part series. We hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Hey, so uh, thank you for uh, agreeing to doing this and uh, congratulations on your um, successful interview, your recent successful interview and as well uh, with your offer from uh, Intel, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Cool, cool. Awesome, awesome. So, um, you know, you have been a member of the community. Basically, you started watching the channel roughly how long ago? Uh, I think it's been a month or a month and a half, something like that. All right, all right. And have you been interviewing prior to that, or did you just it just coincided that you started watching while uh, you started interviewing? Yes, it, it basically uh, happened at the same time. So uh, at a certain point, I started looking. And of course, when you start looking, you start uh, kind of thinking about, oh, gosh, I need to prepare for interviews. So that's how, how I started browsing uh, you know, uh, YouTube videos, uh, something that I should expect, uh, some refreshers as well. That's how I stumbled upon the, uh, the Hardware Ninja uh, channel. Cool, cool. Did you go to other interviews besides Intel? Yes, so uh, there has been uh, another company, uh, but they don't focus on uh, electronics, so their uh, product line is actually quite uh, diverse, so starting from electronics and uh, you know, all the way to all this other stuff, uh, and you know, it's actually still kind of ongoing, but uh, I'm having a feeling that I'm going to let them know that I'll probably join another company. I see, I see, that, that, that's very good. So why don't you walk us a little bit through uh, your approach, you know, to prepare for your inter for your uh, interviews and, you know, just so uh, folks from the channel can also learn some lessons also from somebody who has been successful at it and understand that it is a process and it's not something that happens overnight. So just walk us a little bit through your process. Yes, of course. Um, so, of course, uh, some of the basic stuff, uh, you have to be on top of it, regardless of what position uh, you apply to. Um, so, some of the common, uh, you know, circuits and concept, they, uh, you know, you, you need to know. So that's probably a convenient uh, place to start with because uh, those usually uh, get you started thinking about uh, uh, more special cases, and uh, you know, you can basically build your your tree from there. Um, but, uh, of course, probably the, the starting point is the, the job description. Uh, it's probably very obvious, but, uh, uh, that will basically be, uh, you know, I don't want to call it study plan, but, uh, that's the collection of, um, um, things that you need to focus on because 100%, uh, those are going to be on the interview. So... That's, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what they do. Uh, to begin with, uh, it's probably true for everyone, but I already, you know, start with the jobs where I feel uh, more uh, confident about. So it's not going to be a start of preparation, like from complete scratch. So usually it's just uh, refreshing a couple of things, uh, maybe uh, paying more attention to other things. 
um, and usually you will already have some kind of an idea of uh, how you need to prepare. I like your approach where you talk about, well, you know, I focus on things that I already have in mind that I would like to do and know very specific what I should focus on as opposed to just take the shotgun approach where you just shoot everywhere and hope something sticks, right? Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. It gets you more laser focused on what to prepare, what topics, and then since you're currently interviewing and you're constantly interviewing on, around the same topics, it just becomes much easier to get on the rhythm as opposed to, for example, if I'm trying to interview for a position that does, I don't know, uh, touchscreen design versus another one that is IO design. It's just completely two completely different topics that I'll have to prepare in completely different ways and it's just going to mess up your entire approach, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's probably going to be uh, a little overwhelming. Well, depending on the on the roles, but if it's uh, too much at the at the same time, uh, and the you know the interviews are scheduled you know, very short time apart, then it's going to be uh, you know <laughs> a, a little overwhelming, especially if you already have a full time job. I see, I see. Good, good. So let me ask you the following question, and this is for our own indulgence, if you will. But which was the video that you have enjoyed the most from the channel? Or that you found the most helpful, if you will. Yes, well, um, actually, well, this probably is a, a good segue to you, but uh, usually the content which is on Patreon, uh, Patreon so, uh, you know, all these uh, kind of mini challenges for uh, testing your um, kind of analog circuit knowledge, mm -hmm. uh, those were great because, uh, you know, every time I have, uh, you know, some uh 15 30 minutes to to spare uh just you know go uh go to those uh, contents uh i uh you know try to solve it and you know also i imagine uh the interviewer in my head and kind of ask some extra questions uh you know where the interview can go from uh, you know at every point so you know how the circuits can uh expand a little bit uh so that was uh that's been pretty good I want to though. I, I want to um, dig a little bit deeper on this that you just mentioned. That well, you just gave us some free advertisement about the Patreon channel. <laughs> but uh, I want to dig a little bit into uh, how you approach the questions because we constantly get questions like, "Well, what are the answers?" or um, things like. You know, uh, is there any more content? Are there any more questions? Like, you know, can you upload more frequently? And we try to do it every once a week or every two weeks, uh, depending on the uh, on our bandwidth. Take this as a challenge. You know, this is not a quiz. It's not a homework. Uh, yeah. It's not an exam. So it's there's no right or wrong answers. Much like in an interview setting, and uh, we will be asking you about this uh, later on. Is just open ended questions, right? So this question should serve more as a seed for your own imagination to see how, if you were the interviewer and you were in, uh, uh, on those person's shoes, how would you take that interview moving forward? You have the initial, uh, the initial condition, if you will. How do you develop it, right? And this is, I think, what you have done, and maybe that's why you have been able to be so successful with your interviews, is because you sit and think to yourself, if I'm the interviewer, what should I ask next? Right. And how could I keep developing this? Right. Yeah, no, exactly. So the uh, I, I usually um, I don't expect that I'm going to see this exact same question on the interview. So I know that uh, this is pretty much just like a clue to, uh, you know, for me to explore uh, what I know and what I you know, should focus on and, uh, you know, uh, ref get a refresher on and the um, uh, also, one kind of extra factor is that uh, once you challenge yourself, uh, kind of practice with a lot of um, kind of test, you know, practice questions, uh, you're gonna have an overall better confidence during the interview itself. Yeah, in terms of the uh, additional content, what, what might, might be a, a nice thing, I know uh, some of this you you guys are probably already planning to do, uh, but uh, there is also this whole other aspect to uh, interviewing, like, um, uh, you know, behavioral questions, like uh, just standard uh, etiquette of, uh, you know, talking to uh, uh, interviewer, uh, also the 
the process is also not not always very smooth uh, when you watch someone explain the question uh, compared to when uh, the question is developing gradually so usually when the question is posed it's it is open-ended you know they'll ask uh, some small fraction of it then it's going to develop into another question then it's going to naturally develop into another and and so on and so on and and you're going to have probably uh you know three or four of those right right and they are just as important as the as the technical questions because once you reach a certain level uh where you go beyond besides where you go beyond being an entry-level engineer they want to see how you will couple to the team right how well you will adapt and how good you will be able to collaborate with the rest of the team as opposed to just looking for an extremely bright person that doesn't know how to communicate with others right yeah yeah that's a good 